Hello and welcome to Slam Technologies. My name is Dr. IT. I'm so excited that you have chosen to listen to this broadcast. Today, I'm going to give you some few tips that will help you in using your WhatsApp. Now, without wasting time, let's get started. Now, what is WhatsApp Web? The first topic that I'm dealing with, the tip number one, WhatsApp Web. WhatsApp Web and desktop, an extension of your smartphone. What I mean by extension is the way you can move information from your phone to your computer desktop, you get it, to your monitor. This mirrors all the conversations and messages you have on, from your WhatsApp to your computer screen. And that is the WhatsApp web. Now, first of all, the first thing that you do is you open your WhatsApp and then you go to your settings. In the settings, you will see the WhatsApp web desktop. Now, you will also go into your computer, go to the browser and select www.web.whatsapp.com. Then you are going to point your phone to the computer and immediately the computer is going to register the WhatsApp on net. And what you are going to do next is that you are going to see your conversations, your, your chat, your videos, everything you are going to see them on the PC. And then you can now put the phone on the side and then you can toggle on it. Now you would think, is this safe? Is this secure? Absolutely, the communications are encrypted. But one thing that is not safe is that if you are close to your computer, then somebody within can just use your computer and see whatever you're doing in the absence of you. And so if you finish browsing, the best option to do is to go ahead and tap in the WhatsApp web desktop again, and then you log out of your phone. Now this creates a better security so that when the person goes onto your WhatsApp, there is nothing there to view on your WhatsApp. And that is the WhatsApp web. Again, another tip, the second tip is WhatsApp group. What is a WhatsApp group? The purpose of WhatsApp group is to establish one conversation um, with others. So creating a group that you can share um, commonalities, information together, um, you know, but you know, it's one place. So when you create something, when you want to share something, you can share it with a group. And that is why we have the group. And so to go ahead and do the group, the first thing that you would do is you go into your settings again, you open your WhatsApp, go into your settings, and then you will see chats. You tap on the chats and then you will look down and, you know, at the top, you will see new group. Select the new group and then you can, you know, select, tap into the people that you want to add them to your group. Now, when you're done, you go to next and then you create your group. Let's call it SLAM support. And so we have the SLAM support. This is going to be the new group. And then I can create the group at the top. One thing that you have to understand is that you can never create a group without informing those people that you are adding them to a group. The fact is that, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm in so many groups where people um, sometimes just leaving the group because they were not informed. And sometimes you don't know the purpose of the group. So you inform the person that you are going to create a group and tell them the purpose, the reason why the group is created. It's very, very important when you look into that um, form. Another way that you know you can do is that when you are creating the group, you always want to think about the people too, because remember, there may be many, many groups. So if the group is not that important, please do not create. But if it's important to you, it is important to the person, inform the person. Trust me, everybody will want to join your group once you inform them. 
and I'll be happy to join your group if you inform me too, all right? Okay, so without wasting time again, let's go to the third tip. The third tip that we're going to do is the broadcast list. <laughs> The broadcast list. The broadcast list is different from the group. With the group, you set up a group that you always can communicate. With the broadcast list is a one-time message that you send it to all of them. Now remember the broadcast list too. If the people have not saved your contact in their phone, they may not get it. And so they, if they have it, then they can receive those messages. And for you too, you cannot get anybody's broadcast. And that is the same thing. So what you do is you go into your settings. Again, WhatsApp settings. And then you can go into the charts. And then in the charts, you will see the broadcast list is on the side. And then once you select that, you can just go to the bottom and select new list. Once you do the new list, you will be able to select the people, all the people you want to add them to the list. And then, um, you know, once you are done, you create the list and send the message to the group. All right. And that is all I have for you. So three tips today. The first tip was WhatsApp web. The second tip was WhatsApp group. And the third tip was broadcast list. I hope this has been informative to you and I thank you for choosing Slam Technologies. Now please comment and share information. Thank you very much.